Hello YouTube, and welcome to 2020. So, the age of COPPA is upon us, and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video. It's going to answer a lot of your questions about what my intentions are, what my plans are, and what happened to all my videos. So, one of the concerns about COPPA that most people have brought up is that the definitions of what they're going to target are dealing with very vague concepts, things that don't really have a good definition or don't have a good foundation to tell you whether you're in the wrong or you're in the right. And unfortunately, I'm not in a position to financially fight this. So as basically we have been put as content creators in a position to where we have to guess what someone else is going to perceive our content to be. I've opted to make all of my gaming content private for now, pending more concrete definitions of the things that COPPA is looking for. Maybe some examples. Maybe they could uh, point out when this finally comes down specific things that they're going to be looking for and targeting. Either that, or see how things pan out for other people who perhaps may be in a better position to absorb some sort of legal ramifications for their videos than I am. Uh, in the past, I would probably be one of the forerunners to be out there to fight, to say this is unclear, and I'm just not there right now. I don't have the time. I'm getting ready to go on the road a bunch. So it's unlikely I'll be able to monitor my channel very carefully. If things start to happen, I won't be able to react in time. So I have to be proactive and pull a bunch of my content back so it's not visible. Now, let me make a couple things very clear and apparent. I am very aware of who watches my videos. Uh, my target audience is not anyone under or typically within the age of 18 or below. Most of the people who watch my content are mid twenties and higher. I'm not saying everyone, just a majority of what I see are older people because mostly the fact that my content deals with things that are more relevant typically to someone who was around when some of the, uh, some of the games that I was playing were out. Uh, which was uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s, and such like that. Uh, some of the more complicated games that I play uh, don't really appeal to what would one would call children, uh, although definition of children is very subjective because I know at the age of 13, I was able to comprehend more than a lot of people that were my age. So that's no problem there. I don't feel that my content targets areas that are anywhere close to what someone in the age bracket they're concerned about would fall into. However, I know that any of you who are watching this video probably know that as well. So that's all well and good. But you and I are not the ones who are making the laws or enforcing the laws. So kind of need to see a better guideline as to what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. And, you know, it's that use your best judgment thing. It's so subjective. And you really can't put a basis on anything in particular with telling someone to use their best judgment. If your judgment is good in your opinion, it may not be good in someone else's opinion. So uh, I just going to err on the side of caution. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't, not a person who doesn't support the idea of COPPA. I believe that children who cannot make informed decisions at certain ages shouldn't be, have their data harvested. It's a very important fact for privacy. I don't believe anyone should have their data harvested. I'm fully against that in all concepts, but it happens. And as an adult, you can make an educated choice, whether you want to hide that or not, or what you want to do with that particular session, uh, that particular side of things. As a child, those options may not be available to you. Uh, honestly, I don't think up until the age of 18, 
where you can actually make an informed decision as to whether providing your personal data to someone is a good or a bad thing. Maybe even 25, 30 in some cases, because it depends on your level of technology, but that is an entirely different discussion that I don't want to get into. But I just want to make it clear that I'm not opposed to the idea of protection of data at any level. The only thing that concerns me about COPPA is that as a content creator, I'm being personally held liable for the collection of information of people who are under the age of 13. Uh, let me be clear. I've never collected data on anyone. I have no real way of controlling that. Um, that in this particular case is up to YouTube and they make that decision not me they also reap the benefit of that data not me and i have no access to this data which is fine i don't want access to the data but even when i was running contests all of the data that was collected was definitely thrown out right after it was collected because i have no use for it i'm not a marketer i'm not a business i'm not anything of that nature that would need to collect people's information and I'm okay with that. I don't need your information. I don't need to know who you are. Although a lot of you who watch my videos, I do know who you are. We've had discussions, we've had talks, we've, we've spent a lot of time together. I have a very close knit number of people that I specifically talk to. And, uh, but I'm always open to meeting other people, don't get me wrong. But I know a lot of the people who watch my videos. So to answer, the question is to where my videos have gone. They're currently private. I did not want to delete them, but it took me quite a long time to mark 1200 videos as private. Um, it also gave me an opportunity to see all the videos that I had that were still unlisted. So if things pan out with COPPA and I get a better understanding of what's going on, I'll bring all those videos back and I'll bring back more that you've never seen before. That could be good. That could be bad. Anyway, if you're looking for any gaming content from me in the near future, I will be streaming on Twitch and Mixer and Facebook. So I'll put links to at least Mixer and Twitch down in the description of this video so that you have access to that information. Definitely go over there and check it out. And I usually stream in the evenings in Eastern Standard Time. So if you were available and you felt like stopping in and talking, definitely do so. While I'm waiting for some sort of clarification on the whole COPPA issue with YouTube, I'm going to continue to use this channel to put out tutorials. So give me a good opportunity to spend some time putting out some tutorials that are actually worth watching and different things that I haven't had an opportunity to do based on the schedule of what I've been doing with the games. So having a heavy schedule making gaming videos does not necessarily allow me the time to do some of the things I wanted to do for some of the educational and tutorial stuff that I was doing. I'll also continue to leave the music up because even though music was covered under COPPA, I don't think my music is fit for human consumption anyway. So I don't think a child would watch it because I don't think anybody should watch it. So take that as you will but i put it out there more for fun than anything if you enjoy it great if you don't sorry i don't know anyway that's all i wanted to say but i did want to wish everybody a happy new year and i did want to say that i haven't given up i've just been very cautious about the whole COPPA situation because if things go south with COPPA, i might not be able to react like I need to in order to take care of it at that time, especially not with the quantity of videos that I have. So I'll need a little bit more concrete idea of what they're looking for before I release my content again. And later this year, it's expected that I'll be traveling pretty much all over the country for an opportunity that I have. Uh, maybe I'll get to meet some of you guys. I don't know at least if you're in the US, because I'm traveling to quite a number of cities. But that does take me away from home, and that does take me to the point where I may not have internet access at some of the locations that I'm going to. And with not having internet access, if 
Kappa does some kind of sweep and things warnings go out i may not be able to act on those warnings for a week and i don't think that's acceptable so i kind of need to see how this is going to work out and i hope you guys understand uh once again all of the gaming content that i have made is still on youtube it's just private the new content that i'm making on twitch and mixer and youtube or facebook not youtube uh, is being uploaded to youtube as private so it will be released as well so I hope that you would stick around and just bear with me through this because honestly, I can't imagine what it would be like to get charged with a fine to the point that it would be, what did they call it? Not financially devastating 1200 times. That would be a little bit much. So anyway, I need a haircut. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Happy New Year. Thank you for sticking around. Going into my fourth year, I think, on YouTube. And uh, enjoyed every minute of it. And I'm kind of sad that this all came down in 2020 because 2020 was panning out to be such a great opportunity. But uh, hearing the news of that, and all the discussions and all the stuff people said uh, was very disturbing going up to it. I didn't want to say anything in advance because honestly, so many people overreacted and i'm not trying to overreact i'm just trying to be cautious so i wish everyone the best of luck in 2020 and i hope you stick around i'll see you guys later thank you very much